let's uh it's time to wrap up our books we read this year welcome hi how's it going if you're new here oh my god i'm so happy to see you and if you're coming back thanks thanks for coming back glad to have you here i might be staring at myself in my viewfinder because i just cut my hair my own hair this morning I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I was trying to think about how I wanted to review the books that I read this year. It was really a phenomenal year. I think I've read the most books I've ever read in my entire life in this year, which is great. I'm really proud of myself and let's just keep rolling to the next year, you know? I think I originally had like 12 books as my goal, like to read a book a month and I think last time I checked on my Goodreads, I'm at 41. Let's try to make it 42, you know? At least even number, 2022, 42. I can do it, I can read a book in three days. <laughs> so I want to do something a little different and I thought I would do a book bracket to find the top three books that I read this year. So I'm gonna go through each month and pick my favorite book that I read that month and then compare that month to the next one and go from there, so on, so on. I don't really know how to explain it, but once you <laughs> show you, you'll know what I'm, I'm talking about. We're by my computer, I have my Goodreads pulled up and I drew a little bracket in my journal and I'll have a thing on the screen. Okay, great. <laughs> January was a month. It was a month indeed. Uh, and I read two books. I read The Butterfly Project by Emma Scott and Confess by Colleen Hoover. I loved The Butterfly, Butterfly Project. I loved it so much. So that is gonna be my favorite book for January. February, I only read one book. Um, I think I was a little busy February, but I read Call Me By Your Name in February. So since it's the only one, I'm going to put that one down. In March, I read Regretting You. I guess I only read one book. I really was slow in the beginning of the year. I was reading like one, two books a month. But then I feel like the middle of the year, I really picked it up. So March, I read Regretting You. And then in April, I read Love, Jason Thorne. And then I read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I think I would put Ugly Love above to love Jason Thorne. Cause like now that I think about to love, to love, to love Jason Thorne, it was just fine, you know, it wasn't great, but I feel like I felt way more emotion in when reading Ugly Love. All right, May is when things started picking up. I read a lot of books in May. I read To Hate Adam Connor, which is the sequel to To Love Jason Thorne. <laughs> I read Things We Never Got Over. I cannot re believe I read that this year. That book is so good. I read The Confidence of Wildflowers, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and Heartbones. I honestly don't even know how I'm gonna be able to pick my favorite. Okay, definitely of those ones, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Things We Never Go Over are my two five-star reads from that month. I think I'm gonna go with Evelyn Hugo. I loved that book so much. I was sick when I was reading it and it was just like that thing that comforted me and got me through the times. Taylor Jenkins read writing is just so fucking good. Although I do love things we never got over. I'm really excited about the sequel coming out this year, this next year. June, I read three books. I read Book Lovers, Normal People, and The Setup by Lizzie Dent. And hands down, Book Lovers is my favorite one. This next like round of bracket is gonna be really hard. <laughs> okay, July? I really read like a wild woman in the middle of the year. July, I read Josh and, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, which I honestly forgot that I read that book. That one was by Christine Lauren. It was really cute. It was just like 100% wholesome, super cute romance. I read Better Than the Movies, and then I read the first three books of the Addicted series, which are Addicted to You, Ricochet, and Addicted for Now. Uh, the Addicted Cowboy Sister series just like holds such a close place in my heart. I'm still reading it uh, currently, but yeah, that's when I started. It was, I guess, in July, which is exciting. So uh, I technically rated Better Than the Movies five stars. I think I'm going to put Better Than the Movies, though. 
Did I like it more than the Addicted series? I don't know. This is hard. I think so. I think I'm gonna put better than movies. Oh wait, August. I read People We Meet on Vacation, Kiss the Sky, which is the first book in the Callaway Sisters slash Addicted series, and Blindside by Candy Steiner. Um, hands down, it's Kiss the Sky. That's like still one of my favorite books that I've ever read. Man, 100%. I love Rose and Connor with all my heart. September. September I read Faking It with Benefits, which is just like a smut book. <laughs> I did not realize it was a smut book um, when I started it. I read Malibu Rising, Accidentally Amy, and Reminders of Him. So I didn't do any five-star books this month, um, but Malibu Rising and Reminders of Him were both four stars, but I would 100% say Malibu Rising still like is in my head like i still think about the characters from that book the world building and the family dynamics i still think about and wow i think october was my biggest reading month i read six books in october that's insane so i read oh, okay okay i'm so excited <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise. I read the first three books of the Eden series by Devaney Perry, Indigo Ridge, Juniper Hill, and Garnet Flats. <laughs> I love that series. I really love the series that I started this year. Like, incredible. And then I read It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. And then I started reading the Twisted series by Anna Huang, which was insane and i read twisted love in october and then i read hot house flower at the end of october which is the second book in the Callaway sister series <sighs> dang i don't even know what i'm gonna pick i loved hot house flower so much and my friend uh, carrie annotated it for me so i got to read like her notes while i was rating it but i think i i don't know i think i would still put hot house flower as my top book for october um but definitely the eden series has been one of my favorites uh series that i started this year hands down hands down like definitely sec second to the addicted Callaway sister series and then november i finished the twisted series i read all the other three books i read twisted games twisted hate and twisted lies um i finished the series i don't think there's any other books in the twisted series and i would say i would give that series like a three stars in a whole it just like wasn't i don't know i'm not a big fan of like the possessive dude character but i loved the third book twisted hate Ooh, that was spicy that was fiery and i liked the guy he wasn't like some security personnel why are they all these like high-tech security dudes i don't know um and i hate that the guy from the first book was in literally every book and he was like this character Ugh, he's just the worst anyways and then i read the co-op which was the book from the book club that i started in october um and i think i'm gonna put the co-op as my top book for november because i definitely liked it way more than the Twisted books. I liked it better than Twisted Hate even because Alex wasn't in it. <laughs> but the co-op is really cute. It's like a fixer upper love story based in Santa Cruz. I love the characters. The girly is a tall girl. Ugh, I loved it. So I'm gonna put the co-op. Then December, we're not over end of December yet. There's still, I'm still gonna maybe finish a book. We'll see. But so far in December, I read Love Light Farms. I read In the Weeds, which is the, the second book in the Love Light Farms series. And then I read three like short stories, short Christmas stories. I read Christmas Presents, which is a Tara DeWitt like short story that ties in the characters from the co-op. I read Christmas in Quincy, which is the prequel to the Eden series. And then I read Rusting Scrooge Face by Megan Quinn, which is like this cheeky little christmas enemies to lovers short story i definitely want to read more short stories in the next year they're really fun and just like you just eat them up in a day and it's it's great i love it i definitely did not love love light farms it just infuriated me even in the weeds infuriated me 
don't know what to pick. There's like really nothing that I loved. I think I'm gonna put the resting Scrooge face book. We gotta, we gotta pick our ultimate favorites. So January, February, we have Butterfly Project versus Call Me By Your Name. I think I'm gonna go with Butterfly Project for sure. I liked Call Me By Your Name, but it just was a little slower going and I sobbed when I read Butterfly Project. <laughs> March, April, we have Regretting You versus Ugly Love, two co-ho books. I'm gonna go with Ugly Love. Evelyn Hugo versus Book Lovers, May versus June. That's a real tough one. But I think I'm gonna pick Book Lovers over Evelyn Hugo. I know, I just loved Book Lovers so fucking much. It's just incredible. Okay, July versus August, Better Than the Movies versus Kiss the Sky. I'm gonna go with Kiss the Sky. Oh my god. I'm not looking forward to the last bracket. Okay, September 1st, October, Malibu Rising versus Hot House Flower. I think I'm gonna go with Hot House Flower. I loved Malibu Rising though. Don't get me wrong. But I I just have such an attachment <laughs> to the Callaway sisters. November versus December, the co-op versus resting screw Scrooge face. It's gonna be the co-op for sure. Okay, next bracket. Top three books. Top three books of the, the year. Butterfly Project versus Ugly Love. I think I'm gonna go with Butterfly Project. I just loved when I'm thinking of like the whole story as a package and like the characters. I liked the characters better in Butterfly Project and I liked the growth that they showed throughout the book and how they were two very flawed characters. I yeah, so I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, Book Lovers versus Kiss the Sky. Dang. I honestly don't even know if I can choose. My heart though, deep inside my heart is telling me Kiss the Sky is the answer. But Book Lovers is really, is right behind it on its tails, but I love to kiss the sky so much. Hot House Flower versus the co-op. As much as I loved the co-op, same reason why I chose Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower. I'm obsessed with the series, so I'm gonna go grab my favorite book of the year. This should really be no shock to anybody but my favorite book of 2022 was Kiss the Sky by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I'm honestly, I could have, if you could have asked me what my favorite book of this year was, I probably would have said this anyways without doing the bracket, but the bracket really solidified the decision. I loved it. It's about Rose and Connor Cobalt. You can like read this without reading the addicted books, but if you want the full story, you really want to read the first three books from the addicted series and then read Kiss the Sky. It's enemies to lovers, which I feel like is one of my favorite romance tropes, um, but it's more than that. Like Rose and Connor are both these like powerful, confident people. Oh man, they're just like, look how much I tabbed this book. Insane. I I loved it. I still will like flip through and like read some of the quotes. Uh anyways, <laughs> that is my favorite book of the year. And that thing wraps up the books I've read in 2022. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. I'm really looking forward to all the reading I'm gonna get to in 2023. I think I'm definitely gonna do a video of books I'm looking forward to reading, not necessarily TBR, because I don't follow those, <laughs> but just like books that I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to starting, series that I'm looking forward to working on, um, books that are coming out that I wanna pick up. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for my 22, 2022 wrap up and 2023 goals, mood boards, exciting stuff. I'm I'm excited definitely to do that as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe, like the video, comment down below what your favorite book of the year was. I would love to hear it and I love to talk about books because they're amazing. Uh, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I even am on Twitch, baby. 
enjoy follow me let's chat let's have a good time thanks for being here i hope you had a great year happy new year love you bye